Khandi Prasad Bhatt born 1934, is an Indian Gandhian environmentalist and social activist, who founded Dasholi Gram Swarajya Sangh DGSS in Gopishwar in 1964, which later became a mother organization to the Chipko movement, in which he was one of the pioneers, and for which he was awarded the Ramon Magsaysay Award for Community Leadership in 1982, followed by the Padma Bhushan in 2005. Today he is known for his work on subaltern social ecology, and considered one of India's first modern environmentalist. In 2013, he was the recipient of the Gandhi Peace Prize. <laughs> Early life Khandi Prasad Bhatt was born on 23 June 1934, as the second child of Ganga Ram Bhatt and Maheshi Devi Thapliyal, in a family of priests to the Rudranath Temple in Gopishwar, one of the Panch Kedar, the five Himalayan temples dedicated to Shiva, the most venerated amongst them being the Kedarnath Temple. His father, who was a farmer as well as a priest at the famous Shiva temple at Gopishwar and the Rudranath temple, died when Khandi Prasad was still an infant and he was raised thereafter by his mother, in Gopishwar, Chamoli district of Uttarakhand in India, which was then still a very small village. He did his schooling in Rudraprayag and Pauri, but stopped before he could receive a degree. Career. Farmland was scarce in the overpopulated mountains, and so were jobs. Like most men of the mountain villages, Khandi Prasad taught art to children for a year to support his mother, before eventually forced to work in the plains. He joined the Garhwal Motor Owners Union GMOU as a booking clerk, posted at various places including, Rishikesh, Paipalkoti and Karnaprayag. In 1956, Bhatt found hope when he heard a speech by the Gandhian leader Jayaprakash Narayan, who was on a tour of the area. Bhatt and other young people launched themselves into the Sarvadaya movement and Gandhian campaigns, of Bhutan and Gramdan and organizing villages for economic development and fighting liquor abuse throughout the Uttarakhand. In 1960, he left his job at GMOU, to commit full-time to his Sarvadaya activities, and by 1964, Bhatt had instituted the Dasholi Gram Swarajya Mandal Society for Village Self-Rule to organize fellow villagers in Gopishwar for employment near their homes in forest-based industries, making wooden implements from ash trees and gathering and marketing herbs for Ayurvedic medicine and to combat vice and exploitation. Curtailment of the villagers' legitimate rights to trees and forest products in favor of outside commercial interests enabled Bhatt, in 1973, to mobilize the Forest Wise Society members and villagers into the collective Chipko Andolan Hug the Trees movement to force revision of forest policies dating from 1917. Women, who regularly walk three to five miles to the forest to gather and carry home fuel and fodder on their backs, took the lead. True to the movement's nonviolent philosophy, these women embraced the trees to restrict their felling. Establishment of eco-development camps brought villagers together to discuss their needs within the context of the ecological balance of the forest. Stabilizing slopes by building rock-retaining walls, the campers planted trees started in their own village nurseries. While less than one-third of the trees set out by government foresters survived, up to 88% of the villager-planted trees grew. Bhatt and his society colleagues have been helped by sympathetic scientists, officials and college students. Yet theirs is essentially an indigenous movement of mountain villagers, and Chipko Andolan has become an instrument of action and education for members, officials and outsiders, in the realities of effective resource conservation. Although Bhatt has attended meetings in lowland India and abroad as a spokesman for Chipko, he has remained a man of his community. He and his wife continue to live the simple life of their Himalayan neighbours. In the process he has become knowledgeable and productive in helping ensure his people's hard-won living. In 2003, he was appointed a member of the National Forest Commission, which reviewed all existing policies and legal frameworks relating to forest management, and submitted its report to the government in 2005. Topic. Publications Selected books Parvat Parvat, Basti Basti — Publisher NBT India Pratikar K. Ankur Hindi. Ador Gyan Aur Kalpanik Vishvas Par Himalaya Se Churkani Ghatak Future of Large Projects in the Himalaya 
Ecosystem of Central Himalaya Chipko Experience Topic Awards and Honors UNDP Global 500 Ramon Magsaysay Award for Community Leadership 1982 Padma Shri 1986 Padma Bhushan 2005 Awarded Gandhi Peace Prize for the year 2013 on the 15th of July 2014 by the President of India Sri Sathya Sai Award for Human Excellence 2016 in the category Environment by Sri Sathya Sai Lok Siva Trust